left foot in the river. Uh, it's completely soaked. I'm gonna wring out my sock really quick and then we'll get to it. First round, I had enough. I hold on to you, this might be a bit gross. by the river all right let's see if we can't find a spot here to hang out I I came down here in hopes of well finding somewhere peaceful to sort of sit and talk okay guys so what did I want to talk about today some of you may have may or may not have noticed in my last video which I'll link up above that I put an episode number so that was episode number one and not only was it my first video of 2019 unfortunately but it's actually the first episode of what I'm hoping is gonna be many. So I've decided that I'm gonna put myself into a little bit of a challenge, uh, self-prescribed, but my thought is, is that by putting it out there to you guys, hopefully some of you will hold me accountable to it. Because like I mentioned in the last video again, I wanna improve my video skills because I'm trying to actually take this thing and hopefully make some money with it. Gear's expensive, I always want more. The chronic problem of a uh, photographer slash videographer. The only way I'm going to allow myself to buy any more gear is actually with money that I've generated through creating videos and that sort of thing. So what is the challenge? The challenge is going to be 100 videos and that's 100 videos on YouTube over what I think is going to be the next year. That works out to roughly two videos a week which is a lot but some weeks I should be able to do more whereas other weeks when I get really busy with work I'll be able to do less of course. But my hope is is that by telling you this right now you're actually gonna hold me accountable to it because there's a couple things that I think will come out of it. so I chose a hundred videos for a couple of reasons but the first one was I you know I started at 10 I thought well that'll get me going let's just start with 10 and I said no 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 that's that's too easy you're making it too simple too easy to back out so then I jumped to 50 and I said well 50 would be really good you know that's you know a lot more videos than I've ever made lots of time to get better and and, and build on my skills and I said eh, yeah, but it just doesn't have that oomph. So I landed on 100 and I think 100, I don't know if that's the magic number, but I think for me, that's a number that is a very lofty goal. It's gonna be hard to get there. And that's what I really want. I thought I better get back in here before the storm came. Uh, so to wrap this up really quick, uh, the main reason that I've given myself this 100 video challenge is consistency. And there's a couple reasons for that. I think consistency is key to develop and, and maintain your skills and improve constantly. Consistency is key creatively. I think it'll help stretch and give me better and bigger ideas. And lastly, I think consistency is key on something like YouTube. I think you need to have consistency to grow. You've got to have uh, content out there and the more the better. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think I bit off a little more than I, than I can chew? Have, have you guys ever done anything or can you give me any advice on how I'm going to get through the next 100 videos? Or, you know, even, you know what, I'll take some, I'll take some words of... Uh some positive words let's say positive words give me that encouragement anyways guys if you like this video punch that like button i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe and uh we'll catch you in the next one peace <laughs>